which is a buzzword you often heard in the last few years. In my case, the buzzwords which I listen to the most are crypto, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And in these few years, I just feel like the whole internet is trying to explain cryptocurrencies. Literally everyone is talking about it. The YouTuber is talking about crypto, news channels are talking about it, influencers are talking about it, crypto startups are talking about it, and honestly, it feels annoying. But when so many people are talking about it, even if it's annoying, you still tend to think about it. You start thinking, what is it? Is it that important? Should I think about it seriously? Am I missing a golden chance to be rich fast? And more importantly, if everyone is investing in crypto, should I buy that too? And as you're watching this video, I know this is what is in your mind. But you don't know how to buy cryptocurrency. But you don't need to worry because paper video will help you explain how you can buy cryptocurrencies in detail and in the easiest way possible. But before that, we need one small favor. Just click the subscribe button and bell icon on this channel to help us grow. Before we know how to buy crypto, we should know what the government says about cryptocurrencies. Many get confused if cryptocurrencies are legal or not. So let me tell you that they are absolutely legal, but only to buy, sell and trade. Cryptos are still not permitted as for legal tender. It means you can't use it for daily transactions as you do with other currencies. Also, as per the new budget, we'll also have to pay 30% tax whenever you receive any profit in crypto from the month of April. To buy something online, you need to go to platforms like Amazon, Flipkart and create your own account. Similarly, to buy a cryptocurrency, you need to create a cryptocurrency exchange account, which is the first step towards buying a crypto. After creating this account, you can buy, sell and trade cryptos. So these exchange platforms work as an intermediate platform between buyers and sellers. And the most popular crypto exchange platforms are CoinDCA, ZepPay, Wazirex, CoinSwitch, Kruber, and Unicoin. You can choose any of these platforms, but look for a few things before you choose, like security. Blockchain technology is considered a secure place, but you should know that any institutions like banks do not back it. So you must have an idea of how secure the exchange platform is before signing in. Another is fees. You should have an understanding of how much fees they are charging for trading crypto. You should also see which coins these platforms offer and a few other things. Once you choose the exchange platform, now it's time for step two, which is getting your KYC done. First, let's understand what is KYC. KYC is an acronym for Know Your Customer, which is a process that is used for customer identification. It is a mandatory process, hence you have to complete it. When you create an account, you should complete this process to start buying, selling and trading cryptos. The documents required for KYC are PAN card and address proof. An address proof could be anything like your Aadhaar card, driving license, passport, etc. To complete this process, you have to go to a specific tab of the app or website where you can complete the KYC process. Here you have to upload all the details like a picture or scan document. Just make sure to upload all the required documents correctly. After you upload your document, the platform will also ask for your bank detail, so fill that too correctly. Once done, you have to wait for your KYC to get approved. Another step is adding funds to your account. Of course, cryptocurrencies have a cost. They can be more expensive than actual currencies. Hence, you need funds to buy crypto. Once you have added your funds, you can now buy crypto. But as there is not only one cryptocurrency, you first have to choose which is best for you before investing. There are a few most popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, which is also the first cryptocurrency, then Ethereum, Binance, etc. Now, you may have thought that this is the last step, but it's not. Even after buying crypto, things don't end there. Now, the next thing is storage. Choosing where you store your crypto is very crucial. When you buy your crypto, you have to store it in a wallet. These wallets are of two types, hot wallet and cold wallet. You can use one or both of these types of wallets. But before you start storing your crypto, you should know how these wallets are different than each other. A hot wallet is basically the web wallet, desktop wallet or mobile wallet. On the other hand, a cold wallet is a paper wallet or hardware wallet that looks similar to a USB drive. So the hot wallet is actually an online wallet and a cold wallet is an offline one. 
Hot wallet is considered to be easier to use compared to a cold one. But when it comes to security, a cold wallet is considered best as it isn't online, hence protected from malicious attacks. The hot wallet is usually free, whereas the cold wallet may cost you money. As both have their pros and cons, what should you choose? Well, that's up to you now, but using a combination of both is considered ideal. So these are all the steps required for buying and storing cryptocurrencies. So if you liked our explanation, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, let us know what else we should cover in the comment section. Thank you for watching.